Summer cast, but it's actually, I don't know, what, all 60s? No, 50s, low 50s. 50s. Uh, I mountains. feel like it's low 60s. Well, anyway, it's beautiful heading towards our destination. left to come in and have a tight turn and we are getting ready to turn uh, Haven Forest right in here and go up the mountain. So this will be pretty exciting to see the twists and turns. Only one way traffic from two to five. Okay so here we are coming in. This is pretty exciting the first part of it because we don't know what this looks like. We just know that we have to be there between two and five and it's about I would call it a little over a lane in width. Yep, a lane and a half maybe. Wouldn't want to meet another RV coming down at this time. No, and what we realized is that it's not just one-way traffic. It's one-way traffic if you're hauling or driving a rig. Uh, there are people in private homes that live on this road, so we did encounter cars that we had to figure out and pass, but they were so great in having these signs that as we're going up, it said, you're almost there or do an extra wide turn here. And that was really helpful. And we did not have any problem whatsoever. Compact gravel, no ruts, it was great. Yeah, easy to get up to. If you look at the weather, I mean, other than ice, I mean, it was rainy, it was slick, but we were able to go up and, oh no, here comes a car, what do we do? <laughs> we need to get over to the side. And, and everybody was really good. I mean, they usually let us go and they got over to the side. Uh, I don't think I'd want to live on the side here with this big campground up at the top because there is there's some traffic going up and down. Um, but it, it was easy peasy to get up. And like I said, really no obstacles whatsoever. Nope, we were able to get up there and get to the top. I really, like you said, uh, really did like those signs of encouragement as you're going up. And one of the reasons we were coming out here for Asheville, we really like to visit Asheville. Asheville, but it's also the gingerbread competition. So that will be going on here. And we've got some videos of uh, the gingerbread houses coming up in the video. It also has a lot of uh, hiking trails. There's a lot of hiking trails in the general area. And I would say that, you know, this campground, Campfire Campground, is reasonably priced. Uh, you have a choice of, of campsites. So we like to travel on budget. And we were, what, 20 minutes from Grove Park Inn? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in getting to Grove Park Inn, as everybody knows, is not the easiest thing. But uh, if you've been there. But we're coming up the mountain here. It's really... So remember, you're heading to the top of the mountain, and that's where we're going. It takes a little while to get there. I would say, though, that in my mind, I was thinking it would be um, longer, you know, to get to the top of the mountain. It's a... Mountain. <laughs> it, is an it was pretty quick. In Appalachia. It was fun. growing up in New Hampshire, Vermont. It was pretty quick. Right. This uh, is one of the places you have really got to take a wide. Turn. This is probably the, if it, you want to call anything scary up here, we're I'd say cautious. Just need to take a really wide turn here, which you know got to realize we're all on a 33 footer, so we're taking this turn wide and not a problem. And you get up to the top, it's super welcoming. It just opens up into the campsites and just the edge where you just have a beautiful garage of the mountains and in the distance, beautiful. We're heading up, you can see there's the office right ahead of us. And we made it to the top of the mountain. As you can see the welcome sign. Make sure to subscribe, like, and thank you so much for tuning in. We have more yet to come. Okay, so right here we just stopped and uh, we're just taking a look at the view. It's a little bit obscured with the weather, rainy. Okay, so just got to our, our site here and this is going to be a tight fit for us. We're 33 feet. So uh, we can do it, but it looks like um, this isn't level at all. It might be side to side, might be okay, but it's back there. 
that's not going to be level. It's going to be a really, really tight spot for us, but we'll see what we can do. And we got a great view over there through the trees of the mountains. All right, like and subscribe. Okay, so I mentioned before getting into this uh, lot, this site, we knew it was going to be a little problematic. Not backing in, but it's really not level front to back. And, you know, we're coming down a steep hill right here. So if you look at the angle of the truck and you look at the angle of Haven, the Airstream, and what happened was that when we were trying to uncouple the hitch, it wouldn't come out because of this angle going right down this hill. So we actually had to, Paul came up with a brilliant idea of physics. He had to move the truck just a hair because the um, force, the energy amount that it was creating, it would not come off. So we had to just relieve some of that pressure. So that was not fun, but she is all leveled. And you know, that's what you get when you stay on top of a mountain. Um, sometimes we're gonna have challenges, but we have the end lot. This is awesome. Uh, the views you can see, it was rainy, a little bit chilly. A little chilly, foggy, a lot mm -hmm. of fog days. There's a view for, you can see the river back right there and the solar farm. This is the view from the common area. The river was really pretty and um, when it gets a little bit clear later, the view is great there. We didn't have much of a view, but it was a great um, place to just relax. A lot of privacy. We were at the end lot, so right here, right. And here's view when the sun came out. It's very pretty. And this is a common area open to everybody. And what Paul and I did was we looked to see what site we would want next time. We always do that when you go to site. And this place had some great, had miles of hiking trails. 4.2 miles, four loops. So you can't get lost. Then we headed to the Grove Park Inn to see the gingerbread houses. We love the Grove Park Inn. It is super picturesque, gorgeous. Uh, hotel and we have so much to show you that we actually had to break this up into two parts so this is part one part two is coming up and I just have to add Grove Park Inn not only is it beautiful but if you're a history buff so much history F Scott Fitzgerald you got to read a lot of the history so here's a couple gingerbread houses just want to show you one of these this is one of the ones that's in the top 10. We'll show you all of the top 10 in video part two, but just looks at the craftsmanship. This one didn't place, but we love that it had a peacock. <laughs> it's amazing. I look at this and the expertise and just the detail uh, just blows my mind every time we see it. This is gingerbread. And actually this year, I only took personal pictures of four that just really were, like Paul said, some of them didn't even place of the four that I took. Um, but you really have to applaud these people. And so go see it. Parking, you have to pay for parking, it's but it's free admission. dollars and then that goes to one of the charities. This one here is amazing. It didn't even place. Yeah, and I think, you know, we're not sure uh, how they decide that, but this one didn't have any kind of building. It was all outside like a nature scape, so that may play into it. Not really sure. But just really a fun, fun um, event, even for kids to go see, because you can see the competition with the, with the youth, um, adults. Yeah, they've got uh, children categories, mm -hmm. youth categories, teen categories, and then the adults. Most of these are adults, but we do have some uh, teens in here, and I can't remember if we have any youths or not. But that. just a sampling of those that didn't win. This one is gorgeous. Jamie saw this one. Man, this is great. Yeah, we actually, there was another family there and we started talking about, it. I mean, this just the detail, the colors, the llamas, the people, uh, just beautiful.
really like this one. This reminded us when we had the girls and we'd make gingerbread houses. That was, that was super cute with the family. <laughs> Three generations working on gingerbread houses. Brought a smile. That one, the detail, it was so clean and the detail was great, but there wasn't a lot of going on. So I think that was probably the challenge there. So many different kinds, so many different types. It really is amazing. Paul and I like this one. It's just contemporary gingerbread house. It was just fun to look at. Here's some of the, the youths that uh, won. So you can see these are pretty good. Uh, they're really good. Better than I can do. <laughs> And this one is the People's Choice Best in Show, and it really was ma amazing. That was the award. It didn't finish in the top 10, but this was incredible. I know why that's a People's Choice. I told Paul I would have had to have, have voted this as number one. I mean, you look at the detail of this, it was crazy and so clean, um, amazing everything that the the person put into this i actually uploaded that to the short because i was just so impressed and you got to remember these gingerbread houses take some people what the whole year whole year so please stay tuned watch our next one like and subscribe and y'all have a great day thank you so much and happy new year happy new year everybody